the habit loop. We're into week three of the month and we're talking about things related to adherence, the sticking to its side of things. And a massive part of that is habits. Because if something becomes a habit, if we just kind of just do it automatically to a degree, we're going to get way more benefits from that than the thing that we're kind of forcing ourselves to do. And much like I talked about self-determination theory last week, what often happens with habits is people just decide, I'm just going to do it. I'm, I know what I need to do, I just need to do it. And that level of approach will get the same results as it did last time. What we can do is break down the different sections of what's called the habit loop and look at how we can change those things for either the habit we're looking to create or the old one we're looking to change or get rid of. And again, much like last Monday's video where I just wanted you to remember those three components of self-determination theory, in today's video I just want you to remember the four sections of a habit loop. Cue, craving, response and reward. If all you get out today is remembering those, job done. If you don't remember them, if I, again, like last week, speak to you in a week or a month and ask you what the four parts of a habit loop are and you just look at me blindly or you think, oh, um, the, ooh, there was uh, something about craving something, pointless. Waste of my time, waste of your time. Cue, craving, response, reward. Cue, craving, response, reward. And I guarantee you that if you approach your habit change by looking at those different sections and how they play out in that particular situation, again, you'll stand a way higher chance of creating or changing that habit. So one more time, either say it out loud or at least in your head, cue, craving, response, reward.